Bismillah, alhamdulillah, wa salatu wa salam ala rasulillah, salam alaikum wa rahmatullah, barakatuh, dear brothers and sisters. A mu'min is the one whose heart is always connected to the Noble Quran. And the mu'min is the one who reads the Noble Quran in order to understand what Allah the Almighty is telling him. In whatever conditions a Muslim is, whatever difficult state he's passing through, a big relief can be realized if he reads the Noble Quran, understands it and acts on it. This reminds me of a very beautiful chapter in the Noble Quran, that is Surah Al-Duha, chapter 93. The first four verses where Allah the Almighty says, Wadduha, wallayli iza saja, ma waddaka rabbuka wa ma kala, wala al-akhiratu khairul laka min al-ula. Allah the Almighty swears in the first verse of this uh, chapter, I swear, He says, Allah the Almighty says, I swear by the early hours of the day and by the night when it covers the darkness. Your Lord has not forsaken you, nor has he become displeased. And what is going to come is surely going to be better than what has passed by. So this is a, something which is a very positive note to a Muslim when he's going through distress and difficulties. That Allah the Almighty is telling him that I have not forsaken you. I know what you're going through. And he's assuring that what's going to come is better than what has gone. Alhamdulillah. So when we understand that Allah is talking to us and giving us an assurance, there is no other better assurance than this for a true Muslim. And furthermore, when we supplicate to Allah the Almighty, we always have an assurance that He responds to us, He replies to us. As, as uh, another beautiful ayah in the Noble Quran, in Surah Al-Baqarah, chapter number 2, verse 186, where Allah the Almighty says, وَإِذَا سَالَكَ إِبَادِي أَنِّي فَإِنِّي قَرِيبُ نُجِبُ دَعْوَةَ دَعِي إِذَا دَانِ فَلْيَسْتَجِيبُ لِي وَلْيُكْمِنُوا بِي لَعَلَّهُمْ يُرْشُدُونَ He says, say, O oh Muhammad, peace and blessings be upon you. When my servant asks you concerning me, I am very close to him. I hear the supplication of every supplicant and, and I answer his call. So let him also answer me so that he would be rightly guided. So here is another understanding from the Noble Quran. We get to know and, and comprehend that Allah the Almighty responds to our prayers. Alhamdulillah. Just like in Surah al ghafir where Allah the Almighty says, Uduni astajibalakum, call upon me and I will respond to you. So I want to just remind all my brothers and sisters, there is no doubt that we pass through a lot of difficult state, sometime or the other in our lives. And the best help that you can get in order to get yourselves a better relief is through the Noble Quran. So the more difficult state you are in, you should get connected to the Noble Quran in a more closer way so that you'd find the best solutions for the problems. With this, I would like to say Jazakumullah khair wa barakallahu fikum. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu.